السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وكفى وصلاة وسلام على سيد الرسل وخاتم الأنبياء محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين برحمةك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد رب إشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل عقدة من لساني يفقه قولي الحمد لله All praises for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he has blessed us with this beautiful month of Ramadan I hope from the mercy of Allah that the Muslim community of Woodbridge and Manassas area is truly taking the benefits from this month May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow for us and grant us the ability to reap the fruits and the benefits of this noble month of Ramadan. As a quick reminder, tonight, insha'Allah, we will have a guest speaker, Dr. Shabir Ali, who will come for a fundraising event, insha'Allah. And the point and purpose of this event will be the further expansion of our beautiful masjid. It will be for the groundbreaking of, insha'Allah, our Islamic school. It will be to be able to provide and cater to the needs of our Muslim community. It will be for our future. It will be for the future of our children. It will be for the future safety and security of preserving our Iman, our identity. I cannot emphasize enough as to the importance that this endeavor and this project meets and the need that it must meet. Do your best in coming out tonight, inshallah. There will be a fundraising event happening. Support your masjid. We, subhanallah, this masjid Darun Nur, it is a blessing from Allah. There is nothing like it in the area. Just know this. The moment you come for Salatul Jumu'ah, the amount of people who gather here to offer their Jumu'ah prayer, whether it be for the first prayer, second prayer, third prayer, we have already outgrown the community and its needs. Being the only masjid in the area, we definitely could use your support, your du'as, your you know, heartfelt feelings. We really need your support on this, inshallah. It's not just a structure we're building. It's not just walls we're erecting. It's not just, you know, subhanallah, the, the, the framework. It's the heart and, and the concern of it. It's for the future of our children. It's to preserve their faith. And as times have been dictating, things are becoming worse and worse day by day. The iman of our children, in fact, our iman is on a jeopardy here. Our iman is, is at stake. The iman of our children Please do support this project. Please do come out, show your support. Even if you cannot financially support, your presence means much. It means a lot. Come out tonight, inshallah. Without a further ado, one verse of the Quran, which allow me to mention from Surah An-Nahl, wa in ta'uddu ni'mat Allah la tuhsuha. Allah subhanahu wa taala mentions that if you were to count a blessing of Allah, you will not be able to do so. In Allah la ghafoorur rahim verily Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is forgiving and the most merciful Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala being arham rahimin he mentioned in the Quran that if you were to count a single blessing of Allah you will not be able to do so it's not subhanallah the ni'am of Allah the blessings of Allah one blessing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the same surah wallahu akhrajakum min butuni ummahatikum la ta'lamuna shay'a وَجَعَلَ لَكُمُ السَّمَعَ وَالْأَبْصَارَ وَالْأَفْئِدَةَ قَلِيلًا مَا تَشْكُرُونَ وَلَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that it is Allah who has taken you out of the wombs of your mother. And then he, you knew nothing at the time. And then he granted you the ability to hear. He granted you the ability to see. He granted you ears, eyes, and a heart. Subhanallah. So that we may be grateful to Allah. Once again, there are many blessings of Allah. We can't even encompass or count one. How are we to count all of the blessings of Allah? I'll end with a narration of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, a dua which he would make. He sallallahu alayhi wasallam would say, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min zawali ni'matik wa tahwili afiyatik wa fuja'ati ni'matik wa jami'i sakhatik. Make a habit of reciting this dua as frequently as possible, as abundantly as possible. Once again, it's Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min zawali ni'matik. The translation of this, ver- this uh, dua, O oh Allah, I seek refuge in you that your blessings are lifted, that your blessings leave me. Wa tahawuli afiyatik, and that the protection that you have granted me is changed. وَفُجَاءَةِ نِقْمَتِكْ And in the suddenness of your punishment. وَجَمِيعِ سَخَتِكْ And from all of your anger. Once again, make a habit of reciting this dua. اللهم إني أعوذ بك من زوال نعمتك وتحويل عافيتك وفجاءه نقمتك وجميع صختك. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us right in his deen. ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم. سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك.